Hello, hello. Welcome. Sonia Yvette, how are you? Fine? I'm fine. Good oh, evening. Good. good evening. It's a pleasure. Hey, Mariano. Welcome, Mariano. Hi, teacher. How are you? Okay, nice. Nice to see you again, eh? Me too. That, that's an ahamo, right? Uh, Mariano. What? That's a hammock. No. Hammock. Hammock. Who is Maka. Maka. And no, you share is my my windows. <laughs> I thought you were in a hammock. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why I saw like you were like this, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, uh, sorry, Mariano. But welcome, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good. Hey, Mariano, don't you want to stay 10 minutes after the class so we can practice any topic if you want? Yes, teacher. Yes, like you say, right? Yes. Renganche, renganche. <laughs> okay. Right. Nice. No, thank you. I will copy your name in the agenda. Okay. Let me see. Mariano, he right. If you want, we, we can discuss a topic about grammar. Any topic that you want, Mariano. Yes. Okay, teacher. So thank you. Thank you for helping me, right? Hey, okay. Amiga, Vanessa Noemi, hello. Nice to see you again. Hello. Welcome to this class number 21. 21, yes, right? Let me see. Yes, 21. Oops. We almost finished, right? Only four classes to finish. <laughs> I pass. I I I I think that the time passed very fast. In English, you say the time is passing by. El tiempo está volando. Okay. Um, ever I got your message. Ever. Mat, ponelo como listener. Ever, yes. Give me a second. Ever. Here, right? Okay. Good. So welcome everybody. Hey, Wendy, how are you? It's a different Hello. room, right, Wendy? What? It's a different room. Ah, no, you have a, a window screen. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, good. Yes, nice. Oh, but I see something different when, I don't know, is your hair or what? Um, I'm not in my home, I'm in another place. <laughs> Oh, good. And maybe the, the space, the light. <laughs> okay, good, good. Nice, nice. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to the class. Okay, Thank you. now you're welcome. Now let's start with the presentation, right? Give me a second here. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. So this is the presentation for tonight, right? English for Word Program, Intermediate Tree, right? Uh, no, but let me see, give me a second. It says components of effective branding conversation. No, 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 this is not the topic. Excuse me, class. The topic is brand, but I can change right now. Brand awareness vocabulary. That's the topic. Sorry, excuse me, I made a mistake here. Right? I will change it later, right? Brand awareness vocabulary, right? That is the topic for tonight. And today is this is correct, right? July 21st. Good. Now let's go to, to the discussion topic for tonight. I will we're going to discuss three or four questions, and then I'm gonna take uh, the attendance, right? Okay, so let's start with the first question. Let's give me a second here. I will move something. There we are, right? Okay, Vanessa. Uh, the first question is for you, Vanessa. Vanessa, no, I mean, right? Um, would you live with 
Uh, sorry, you're you're married, Vanessa? Yes, right? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, <laughs> cool. Excellent. So the question is for you. Excellent. So <laughs> would you live with your parents after you get married? Yes or no? No. 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 Oh, nice. Why do you think why do you think some people like to continue living with their parents even they are getting get married why I don't know. <laughs> listen uh sometimes they say mother i bring my wife to the house okay <laughs> so the mother-in-law is living with the daughter-in-law right to care in the same house Oops. Yeah, I don't like this, this idea. Very, very I, I hope that I don't do that. <laughs> well, I hope you don't do that, but because you don't, you're going to get in trouble. Even a ranchito, yeah. Vanessa. Don't, okay. don't matter where you live, but in, in a ranchito, whatever. <laughs> but only you and your husband, right? Yeah. Yes, nice, nice. Thank you very much. Any other opinion about this question? Some people live with their parents after they get married. No, okay. So next question, right, Wendy? Uh, should children help with the housework? Yes or no? What do you think? Yes. Yes, why? Why do you I think they should help? Because it's important um, to help to the mother, for example, uh, she has a lot of work in the home and children's uh it put the children's help her to do that thing because Oops. it's a good way to learn discipline to be a good worker i don't know for me it's important nice i totally agree with you right to make them responsible in the life right we're learning, exactly. we're teaching them, right? That, that, that. Thank you. Okay, Mariano, your opinion, Mariano? For me, teacher is important the children help in the housework because it's important the children create, create a good habit. Mm -hmm. And what about you? Do you help with the housework, Mariano? Yes, oh. yes, teacher. Good. Everything. Nice. I will ask your mother, Mariano. <laughs> she knows. She knows if, if, if you're lying. Yes. <laughs> no, I believe yes. it, Mariano. I believe it, right? <laughs> Good. Thank you. Now, let me see. Uh, next question is for uh, Aminda. Aminda, do you, well, first of all, do you know what is a nuclear family and an extended family, Aminda? I, I understand the nuclear family is my uh, close family, my son mm -hmm. and my husband, I think. Yes, yes, yes. So, and extend, extended family is the family of my husband? And your, also no? your family, right? Uh, the cousins, oh. the uncles, the aunts, the in-laws. In this case, the in-laws is the family of your husband, right? Yeah. So that, but that is right now. Family. Okay. Yeah. But right now I live in, with my nuclear family. Nice, very good, very good, nice. Okay. How, how many are in your nuclear family? I mean, the, how many? Uh, we, are, we are four. Four, oh, yeah. nice. Nice, that's a good number, right? That's a I good. think, yeah, I think it's the perfect number. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, because some people think like living with a lot of people, it's, it's better because the house is always happy, right? Uh, but it, it, uh, for me, it depends on the, the, of the, the house, right? Depends, depends on the situation, but in general, I think the same, uh, yes. For you, it's correct, yeah, four people, it's, it's enough, yes. Yeah. You can make a party with four people. <laughs> nice, yeah. Okay, nice. Okay. So let's go to the next question, right? Domingo, hello, Domingo, welcome. Okay, uh, you know, nuclear family is like the husband, the wife and the children only, right, Domingo? And the extended family is many people living in the same house, the, the grandparents, the, the parents, the cousin, the aunt, other members of the family, right? 
So what are the advantages of the nuclear family, Domingo? Advantages, positive things about the nuclear family. Okay, continue, Domingo, continue, sorry. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry, Domingo, yes, come on. This is the nuclear family. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Yes, good. it is the nuclear family. <laughs> nuclear family discussion, right? Okay. Come on. Okay. Well, um, be, be serious, Domingo. Come on. Be serious. <laughs> be serious. Um, is the nuclear family or the extended family? As are no different. For you, it's the same. It's the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they are the same. They have the same advantage, the same positive thing, right? The family is the family, right, Domingo? Oh, the family, the family. Yeah. Yes, uh, uh, the family is, is uh, uh, we say, uh, the gustos raros. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you know a, a family or no or, or i don't know no no the family is um, <laughs> the traditional the the cultural i family yes are you your family i uh, no and uh, no it's the my the my Friends, one friend, okay, uh, one good. one family is. Uh, is, is Sorry, uh, 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 you scare me, pero, Mr. Stone, right? You scare me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, pero the, the some family. Families, fa some families are strange. I know. I know what you mean, right? I know you, what you mean. Yes, good. Thank you very much. Now, uh, let me see. Wendy, what what is your opinion? What are some of the advantages or disadvantages of the nuclear family? I'm sorry, there is too much noise here. Uh, can okay. you repeat the question? The question is, what is your opinion? The same question, what are the advantages of the nuclear family? The positive things about the nuclear family? Positive things, uh, for example, that you grow up with your mother and your father. Uh, you, if you have uh, siblings, it is a positive thing. Okay. Um, so in this case, you're talking about the extended family, right, Wendy? Yes, because you're close yeah, to your parents. Nuclear family. Nuclear family is only husband, wife, children. Extended family. Ah, uh, no, I, I'm. Okay, no, I'm no, talking no, about wait, extended wait, Wendy. family. Wait, wait, wait. So I understand that you say one of the one of the advantages or the extended family is that you are together with your parent, right? In the same house. Yeah. That's good, that's good, yes, yes it's an advantage. Now, yeah. one advantage for the nuclear family? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you don't fight uh, for the TV, no. right, Wendy? You don't no. fight <laughs> for the TV. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, right? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, okay. I don't know. I don't have a nuclear family and I don't want to have one. So because I don't want Mary and I don't want children. So I know, I know, I understand. I you, know. you told me last time. But, <laughs> yeah. But no, no, no. Yeah. Even though you you you're living with your with your mother, right? Yes, yes I live uh, with my mother and my father. We we live in our house only they and me. Nice. And it is okay. You're happy. For me. You're happy with that, yes. I'm I, happy. I'm happy. I see your face. You're, you're happy. Yes, I understand. But <laughs> yes. my recommendation is in the future, maybe consider only consider the possibility, Wendy. Don't close your uh, perspectives. I don't know. 
I don't know. <laughs> Nobody knows. It's not, it's not my objective, but I know, I know. if it is happen, it's okay, but it's not my objective in the life. I will tell you this, Wendy, listen, for experience, okay. you know, because okay. I'm married, I have my children, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So uh, when the love comes, you cannot do anything. <laughs> you, only, you only have to <laughs> set your destiny. <laughs> Right. Okay, yeah. good. Thank you, I Wendy. Know. Yes. I'm Thank you. <laughs> okay, now, uh, Vanessa, another single student here, right? So, what do you consider are some uh, advantages and disadvantages of the extended family, Vanessa? Having a lot of people in your house, you know? No idea. I think that you can have privacy, right? Privacy. Privacy. Right? Privacy. Privacy. Mm -hmm. You don't have privacy when you, when when uh -huh. I, there are a lot of uncles, aunts, cousins. My grandfather living in my house, right? <laughs> Mm -hmm. All the time you no, no privacy, yes. Oh, noise, a lot of noise. You know? <laughs> yes, a lot of noise. So, and um, maybe a lot of disorder. <laughs> uh, I understand. Yes, of course. Uh, and, um, a mess. I come with my nuclear family, so I don't know what is the husband uh, or pizza. Uh huh. Uh, that. Vanessa, when you say uh, un gran desorden, you say a big mess, a big mess, mess, M E S S, right? Mess. Uh huh. And and do you know any family that is extended? Yes. <laughs> Me too. Yes. It's, it's a a chaos. It's a cow, right? Uh -huh. That hell, right? I know a family that, that they have even dogs and you know, patos and, and, and chicken and, and dogs, and, my goodness. Yeah, it's a, it's a mess, you know, when, when you have a big family living in, in the house, right? But I consider that uh, they are happy. I mean, people that live with, with all the family, they, like Domingo said, right? We are happy having the family is the family, right? But even though privacy is not a, an advantage in this case, right? Okay, good, thank you, thank you very much. Now, let me see. Uh, I don't see many people connected tonight. What happened? What happened with the students? Come on. Just give me a second here. I'm gonna do something here. What's up? I don't see Domingo. I don't see nobody. Okay, so I will continue with, with, with the same, right? Ah, yes, I have more here. Good. Ah, Mariano. Yes, Mariano. Help me, Mariano. Okay. What is the most important thing your parent taught you? Taught is the past tense of teach. Taught you. Um, what is the most important thing? Yes. Your parent taught. Your parents taught you. Touch. Is the no touch no <laughs> touch no tot t o t tot is the past tense of teach. Teach is the present. Tot is the past. For example, me. I am teach. a teacher. Mariano. I ah, am a teacher. Teach. So yesterday teach. I taught you. I taught you the causatives. Right. Okay. Teach. Understand. Teach. Teach. The past tense is uh, ah. so. What is the most important thing your parents taught you? Not touch, taught you. <laughs> taught you. Okay, the most important. Mm -hmm. hmm. uh, uh, to be a, a good person. <laughs> to be a good person, right? Yes. Okay. Be a good person and. Everything be clear. Uh -huh. uh, nice. And I don't know, a uh, good 
Valors. Values. They taught you. They taught you values. Okay. You know values like honesty. Uh, yes. Um, being respectful. You know. Uh, yes. Helpful, etc. Okay. Good. Nice. Now, Carla Vanessa, what about you? What 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 is the most important thing your parents taught you, Carla? Hi, teacher. Well, uh, always be rec respectful uh -huh. with all the person. To be yes. respectful with the with the people. Yes. Okay. Yes. Nice. Uh, uh, one thing is to not touch things that are not yours. Oh, honesty too, right? Nice. Yes. Nice. And don't yeah. like. Okay, nice. And well, I, I remember my father, my father passed away, right? So he's, he's not with me, but uh, he always told me that uh, do not be angry because being angry, it's, it's not a good thing, right? I used to get angry and when my mother asked me, are you going to eat, Javier? And then I said, no, I don't want to eat, I, I am angry. <laughs> and my father always said, hey, amigo, what's, what's up with you, amigo? Well, he, he spoke Spanish, of course. Uh, don't be angry. You're not going to get anything in the life if you're angry. Try to be happy all the time, he says, right? So because we always have problems, and I have a lot of problems, of course, like, like you, right? But if you face the life with a happy face, the things are not, you're not going to give solution to your problem, of course, but the, the, the perspective, perspective sorry is there that's what my father taught me right really interesting what about you walter what is the most important thing your parents your mother or, or your father taught you hi good evening teacher. hi welcome uh, i think the more important thing my father teach me is respect mm -hmm. every, every everyone around me uh, like, like I, I want to respect to me. Nice. Oh, interesting. I like that, Walter. Yes. I mean, because you, you can, res you have to respect everybody around you, right? But it doesn't mean that you, you know, how you are not uh, valuable, that you're not important. Of course, you're important, right? You have the same value that other people. <laughs> And then sometimes yes, people want to step on you, right, Walter? Algunas veces algunos se quieren parar en uno, guys, you know? Step on you and kick you. They want to kick you, right? And then I, I like that you say that you have to, to respect yourself, right? Because you're important too, right? Yes. Please, tonight, give a kiss on yourself, right? And say, I am important in the life. <laughs> of course you're important. And all the people around you. Yeah, I like your commentary, Walter. So, um, well, let's continue. But before to continue, we'll take the attendance. Uh, Trini? Present. Hey, welcome, Trini. Aminda? Present. Ana Maria? Ana Maria and Marie? Okay. Carlo William? Claudia Guadalupe. Okay. Ah, Ana Maria, yes. Hello, Ana Maria. Uh, is something wrong with your microphone? Oh, let me see. Aquí está el mensaje. Okay, good. Eh, me imagino que va a estar the listener. Let me see. Give me a second. I will copy something to Ana Maria. Okay. Ah, okay, good. So I understand, Ana Maria. Thank you. Ana Maria is working. Yes. Okay. When you say you're working, is pisto a pisto, right? <laughs> you have to work. Absolutely necessary. That's the idea, right? Thank you. And Domingo? Good, thank you. Jose Roberto. 
present teacher. Hey, welcome, Jose Roberto. Nice. Happy to have you in my class. Okay, give me a second here. Me equivoqué por acá. Okay, estamos. Yes. Eh, Carla Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Leticia Guadalupe. Leticia. Okay, I have a message here. Vamos a ver. Okay, it's uh, Rosibel. Uh, Rosibel, um, va a estar con nosotros en la clase. Rosibel, o también listener. Es que yo sé que a algunos les, les, les falta el, el, les falla el internet y a veces solo pueden estar de listener, right? O a veces activar la cámara nos no baja el, el nivel de internet, pero... Bueno, vamos a tomar aquí en cuenta que Rosibel va a estar con nosotros de listener, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, Leticia, no tengo mensajes de Leticia. Oh, sorry. Ok. Mariano. Mariano. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosemary. Rosemary. Present teacher. Oh, welcome, Rosemary. Sonia y Beth. Present. Good. Walter Omar. Present. Vanessa Noemi. Present. Okay, good. Wendy. Present. Chamba. Chamba. Present, Mister. Good. Welcome, Chamba. Uh, Debbie. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome, Debbie. Este, mire, ahorita voy ya de salida para mi casa, así que ah, me voy a tener okay. que desconectar. Entonces, le voy a poner listener. Ok. Y después me avisa cuando ya esté en casita, ok. Igual okay. Oscar Anulpo, eh, cuando llegue a casita, Oscar. Eh, let me see, sorry. And Jorge Alfredo. Jorge. Gracias, teacher. Welcome. Nice. Gracias. Con nosotros, Jorge. Nice, I like it. I like it. Seguimos luchando con la plataforma, Jorge. Ok, teacher, está bien. Seguimos ahí presionando, pero lástima que no está en mis manos. Oiga, va a disculpar. Ok. okay. Ah, hablando de la plataforma, este, eh, la unidad 3 está fácil. Vaya, la revisé, súper fácil. Está solo de darle clic. Solo de tirar una moneda, 50-50, right? <ríe> bueno. Bueno, gracias, gracias, Jorge. Ok, now, let's continue with the class. Um, what is the best thing about your mom? Mm, interesting. My mother, yes. The mothers are, listen, the mothers are really special, right? After God, in my opinion, right? After God, the mothers, yes. They are the best thing in the world, right? The best person in the world. Okay. So let me see. Trini, this question is for you, right, Trini? What is the best thing about your mom? Describe your mother, Trini. Trini? Um, and <laughs> yeah. Okay, I understand. I heard the TV behind you, right? But don't worry. So um, tell me about your mother. What is the best thing? What is the best her, of your mother? Really? Hello. Uh -huh. um, She's lovable. She's lovable. What else? Perdón? She's lovable. Ella es una persona que ama mucho. Una persona adorable, you know? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What else? We're talking about your, well, but by the way, Trini, what's the name of your mother? Ah, you say last time, Trinidad, right? No. My mother is Delia. De ah, no, your grandmother is, right? Sorry. Yes. Uh -huh, your grandmother, yes. Uh, okay. Your valor. And principal, 
Okay. What else? Is she a good a good chef? Is she a good chef? Yes. Oh, nice. Did you yes. learn how to cook with her? Yes. Yes. Nice. Okay. What else? What, what kind of music? Okay. Listen, Trini, what kind of music does your mother like? Um, I don't like music. She doesn't like music. Okay. Yeah. Only. Only pray? No sé si dice. Pray. Pray. Orar, orar. Mm. Pray. Okay. okay. And the last question, Trini. Does she preach you? Todavía la regaña, Trini? Does she preach you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> nice. Nice. Um, okay, so behave. From time to time. Nice. <laughs> okay, so behave. Pórtese bien, entonces. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I know, I know. The, the mothers are the mother forever, right? You can be a, an old person, right? And they are going to be together with you forever, yeah, forever and ever. My mother yeah. is not with me, right? But I know she's, she's with me watching me, you know? <laughs> yes, and they are the best. Thank you, Trini. And I guess the same question to Aminda. Let's continue talking about mother, right? Uh, what is the best thing about your mother, Aminda? The best thing? Um, okay, I think is my mother is, is responsible. Okay, nice. Nice. It's a good characteristic, yes. Good. Yes. Now, um, let me see. Domingo, please. The same question, Domingo, yes. Tell me about your mother. What is the best thing about your mother? By the way, what, what's the name? Of, what's the name of your mother, Domingo? What's the best? The, the name. About. The name of your mother. Ah, the name. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> no, come on, Domingo. Excuse me, and and and. I know, uh, uh, let's see. Ah, you don't have your mother? No. I, I was no mother, ah, I was okay. no, no father. It's, sorry. Oh, it's, sorry. But yes, her name and the mother is, is Miriam. Miriam, right? But you, uh -huh. you, pero, yeah, uh -huh. pero, you, didn't, you weren't uh, raised by her, right? No, no lo crió ella. Uh, no, 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 no los conocí. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. Uh, and what about your your grandmother? Do you have grandmother? Uh, yes, uh, it's, it's Virginia. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. nice. So tell me about her. Is she still alive? Is your grandmother still alive, Domingo? Todavía está viva? Your grandmother. Uh, huh? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yes. Uh, in uh, 1970, uh, or just. Okay. And mm -hmm. tell me one positive thing about your grandmother, Domingo. One positive thing about your grandmother. Uh, uh. Como. You say in Spanish, don't worry, Domingo. And we're going to make it in English, right? Es que es complicado para mí. Y como no me quedo así entre familias, en la rebotada de mi familia, en familia, es okay. disciplina. Es disciplina, la disciplina es okay. responsable. Yes. Responsible. She's responsible. Okay, thank you, Domingo. Okay. Sorry to, to talk about this uh, situation. You know, sometimes... Uh, for example, in my case, when 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 someone asked me about your about my mother, right? Come on, I start to cry because I miss her, right? 
and 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 the seed, right? Some 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 people, right? Uh, we have difficult difficult things in the life. We 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 can be uh, we can grow up with with our mother or without our mother or with our father or without our father, right? So sometimes it's very very hard, right? But we are here. Come on, Domingo. We are fighting in the life, right? So let's continue. Now let's go to this question. I guess we were discussing this question before, right? What's the best thing? Uh, what is the perfect number of children to have? Volunteers, please. Oh, no, no, no. I will ask. Let me see. I will ask Carla Vanessa. Yes. Come on, Carla Vanessa. Tell me. Ask. Well, after Carla <laughs> Vanessa, we have Sonia Ibe. Okay. What is the perfect okay. number? Aminda says uh, two children, right, Aminda? <laughs> what about you, Carla Vanessa? Um, well, my family is pretty small. Uh, we are only two or three uh, children for, for every uncle we can take. So I think that two kids are enough. Two kids to complicate the life is enough, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Even worse when they are adolescents, like my son. Okay, I understand. Adolescents are very special, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have a son of 16 years old. Come on. Oh, so I love him. I give my life for him, but sometimes <laughs> they have some issues, right? Tiene algunas. Algunas sus cositas, no sus temas, right? <laughs> My sons are 13 and 14. Oh, so. yes. So it is the, the special age, right? Oh, yes. Very complicated. Use, yes. Even they don't <laughs> use the cell, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, two, yes. two kids. So, Sonia yes. Ibeth, thank you, Carla. Uh, Sonia mm -hmm. Ibeth, how many for you? And perfect number is one or two. One or two. And you have some image? I have one. 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 It's a it's a boy, right? It's a boy. It's a boy. Okay, good. Sorry, uh, Sonny, you were with your boy last time on the screen, right? No, no, no. Sí, no. no le escuché. I can't hear. Su bebé estaba en la pantalla la vez pasada, ¿sí o no? Sí. ¿Sí? Ah, ok, good, good. Y ahorita ahí lo tiene, ¿vamos? Eh, sí. Pero, pero, no, no veo la cámara, permítame. No, no la veo. Say hello. Hello, ahora sí, yes. Hey, ahí está hello. el muñecazo. Ok, hello, hello. Vamos a traerle a, a, a Dudley otra vez, permítame. Mira, mira. Aquí está Dudley para saludar. Mira. Hello. Yeah. 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 I have some problems. I'm happy. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, good. So two is enough, Sonia. Thank you very much. And we can maybe imagine your reason, right? Yes. I know. We we parents, we are happy with children. Come on. Sorry, guys, that you don't have baby, but we, we become a parent. We yes, it's, 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 it's a very difficult <laughs> life, but happy. <laughs> okay, let's continue, right? Next question. Should parents give their children an allowance? Let me see. This is for oh, don't, eh, Mariano. No, eh, Rosemary. Rosemary, please help me. You know what is an allowance, right? No, teacher. No, no, it's, it's the meaning. Mesada, mesada. Mesada. So, to to parent give their children an allowance, yes or no? Can you repeat the meaning because I didn't hear for the is mesada, mesada. Pistol. <laughs> I think it's okay if oh. the children have some assignments 
to the house. Oh, nice. And, 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 and when they, they uh, fulfill the, the obligation, right? Cuando, cuando has cumplen su obligación, and then you give uh, money. No. Yeah. No. 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 Yes, teacher, I think yes. it's okay. I know I think it's like a retribution because the parents don't have the the um, obligation to provide oh. money to their kids. But from time to time is it's okay, right? Uh Rosemary, you have babies? No. No, no. Okay, but but do you consider it's, it's okay? For example, I have a daughter, uh, Sophia, right? It's like like Oscar, similar to Oscar, because uh, one of his daughters' name is Sophia, too. and my Sophia uh, is going to be uh, ten years on on Saturday, July twenty third. Uh, we're going to celebrate her birthday, right? And, and and how much do you consider, Rosemary, that I can give Sophia every month? Because depends of the 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 thing that she needs the money. I don't know. What She's, kind a of She's a saver. She's a saver, right? A ella le gusta ahorrar. So, In this case, it's okay. But so if the children don't have the the age to know and appreciate the value of the money, I think mm -hmm. it's not correct. Okay, good, but okay, no. like a dollar, if you give one dollar for, for churrito, right? I mean, it's not not the big deal, but uh, I give her, and the, I want your opinion, Rosemary. I give her five dollars every month. Is that okay? You consider okay five dollars every month? I think it's okay. Um, actually, I don't have a strong opinion because I don't have you children. Don't have babies. I know, I know but what you mean. In my personal uh, experience with my parents, they give me the money of the month when I stay in middle school and I administrate my money. Nah. If I needed to buy something in the school or everyone that I wanted, I have to distribute the money to they provide me for one month. And if I spend it all in one week, it was my problem. Sorry for you, right? <laughs> nice. So you have a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I, well, in, my, in the case of Sophia, I give her everything, right? I give, uh, we, my, my wife and I, we give her, you know, lunch, uh, to, uh, some um, snacks to get to take to the school, right? So that's it. And we, when we go out, you know, we go to restaurants and places like that. So uh, we give her everything. But from time to time, I consider, right, in my opinion, Rosemary, that we can give money because they can save the money and then buy something like shoes or, or things they like, right? But not, what I don't like is when, when you give an allowance to the children and they, they spend the money in, in candy, oh, yeah. churritos, in soda, right? Don't, no, I, I don't like that. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, the next question. Rick. How often does your family eat dinner together? Mm, this is a nice question. Uh, Sonia y Beth, please. In your case, Sonia y Beth, how often does your family eat dinner together? Ay, es que mira, me están despegando. How often does your family eat dinner together? Um, Almost always. Almost. Almost always. Almost always. Nice. It's a good costume. Yes. After working, you can watch TV with your family or not, right? But for me, not, not watching. But, but yes, I watch TV, talk about what, what happened during the day, right? It's, it's a good thing. To have yeah. dinner together, right? Okay. Solo que, bueno, me, ah, mientras cenamos vemos televisión, es lo único malo. Oh, yeah, yeah, but, <laughs> but wait, that's okay. Uh, sometimes in my case, I do that too, Sonny, but, but we, even though we talk, I mean, we talk and we say, oh, what happened with this? What happened with that? So, 
For us, it's okay. Time. And now, uh, Vanessa Noemi, what about you? How often do you have dinner together with your family? Okay. Sorry, Vanessa, excuse me for the interruption. Excuse me. Uh, I don't know what happened tonight with the microphone uh, because I. I, I think it's the balloon is a little down. Mm -hmm. and, and let me see. Mm -hmm. I guess it's the Sonia Ibe. That, that is your baby too, right, Sonia? No, no, no. no, no. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Wait, wait a minute, Vanessa. I'm going to do something. Oh, good. That's it, right? Okay, Vanessa, let's try. Because I, I love babies, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, but Vanessa, let's try. Okay. Um, well, I only uh, yes. come to the world at different hours, so we can eat together. This time. Only weekend. Okay, only in weekends. That very good. Yes, no, no, it's not. Sorry, by the way, uh, Sonia, what's the name of your your prince? Well, what is the name of the prince? Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Yes. Rodrigo. Ah, hello, Rodrigo. <laughs> My gosh, he's fitting. Okay. Rodrigo. Okay, Rodrigo. My daughter used to drink. Uh, the, the pot, the milk pot, you know, la pachita, the milk pot, when she was four years, and she used to hide from me, you know, la escondida de mi para que no me dera That's nice. Okay, let's continue. Thank you, Vanessa, Noemi, and let me see. The next question is for uh, Walter, Walter Omar, yes. Um, uh, who is the bread, the bread, sorry, who's the breadwinner in your family? Walter? Teacher, yeah. tell me what, what does mean breadwinner? Breadwinner is el que se gana el pan, el que lleva el pan a casa, right? Uh, el ganador no. de pan, el ganador de pan. Y es el, el, el que lleva la, el que mantiene la familia, right? You want to say that. Who is the breadwinner in your family? I am, of course. You are. <laughs> okay, congratulations. You good father. Good no, father. teacher. Uh, 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 all members contribute to to the family. Nice. Yes. And every month, right? Uh, Walter paying the the bills, food, supermarket, preparation of these shoes. Oh come on! It's every month we say. In my case, Walter, I say, ya va a llegar agosto. <laughs> Ya va a llegar septiembre. Ahí, ahí vamos a comprar los zapatos. You know? Yeah, I understand. It's a, the breadwinner is always thinking, right? That's why you should appreciate the, 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 father, the father's class. Por eso deben apreciar los papás. Yes. <laughs> okay. Good. Let me see. Um, vamos a... Vamos a, a ver lo de los micrófonos. Regálenme un segundito. Si sí, ahora sí están todos apagados. Yes. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you for your commentary. Yes. Okay. Now. And next one is going to be Wendy again. Right, Wendy? Uh, yeah. What do you think of, of the budget for the family? Do you know what is a budget, Wendy? No, I don't know what is the meaning of presupuesto. Presupuesto. Ah, oh, okay. Well, what is the what is your opinion about having a budget for the family? Is it okay to have a budget, 
Wendy. Okay. Now, uh, I don't know what happened with the internet of Wendy, but uh, Chamba, please help us, Chamba. You're, you're good in business, right? So maybe you have a budget, Chamba. Yeah, I mean, it's difficult, the budget, because always you can save the money with the, how do you say, gastos inesperados. Uh, uh, in in desperate or unexpected uh, waste, unexpected waste, we can say that. Yeah, unexpected you, you waste. You say money for the unexpected spend. Waste. Uh, uh, waste. No, unexpected. No, unexpected. Uh, unexpected waste. Huh? Yes, that's it. Waste. waste. It's very difficult, but the rest you can only save for the food, for the college, for the gas, for the service, for example, electricity, mobile, I know. And, and water. It's, it's only you, you, you need organic. But, but my you question know, is, uh, Chamba, do you do that? I mean, do you have a plan every month? To, to yes, miss. Oh, nice. Yes, yes, yes. Because because if if you know if you know have a plan, you spend the money. That is Chambita, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's very yes. active tonight. Yes. Yes. Uh, Chambita is four years old, right? Uh, Almost. Almost right. Three, 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 three. 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 Yes, you told me last three time. in September twenty-one. It's going to be four. Four, yes. Nice. <laughs> okay, good. And teaching Hi. English, right, Chamba? Please. Yes, Mister. I try. I try. Okay, continue. And and listen. Sorry to talk about this, Chamba, and for the class, but I like to listen a, a radio program. The name is Fisherman. Oh, sorry. No, I cannot give brand, right? No puedo dar nombre, perdón, sorry. No, no me acuerdo cómo se llama. No me acuerdo cómo se llama el programa, pero es un programa en la radio. It's a, it's a radio program, right? And they, right. it's about, um, you know, finances. Finances is the program, right? And they recommend to have a, in the budget, we have to, the uh, two fund, right? Two funds, sorry, two funds, dos fondos, right? Fondo de previsión, el fondo de emergencia, they say, right? Emergency fund and emergency in, in previsory fund, right? It says like the, every every month you receive your money, right? This is salary, right? You have to keep some money. For example, for the tires of the, your car, right? Yes. No va a comprar las llantas de su carro, pero en algún momento en el año lo va a hacer, right? O to pay the 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 expenses of the school, right? The, the registration of the school, the matricula, right? So, say this on every month. And also, you can have an emergency. Go to the dentist, buy some this, right? And every month, right? Cada mes hay que guardar ese pistillo para esos dos fondos, right? So I recommend that. It's, it's necessary. It's difficult. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Entonces, eh, creo que por ahí tengo cinco dólares, lo voy a usar para la gas. <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> yeah, but it's difficult to save money, but we have to try, right? Okay, thank yeah. you, Tema. Now, You're eh, welcome. okay, thank you. Now, uh, Debbie, do you think uh, we can we can make a budget work, or it's a waste of time, Debbie? Uh, budget what the meaning about budget uh, presupuesto oh. okay uh, um, it's a budget for the family you know um this is for mm -hmm. food this is for the supermarket this is for uh, pay the bills you know electricity water etc etc and this is for the for the clothes for the shoes for the school right so do you have a budget in your family, Debbie? I try. 
is necessary and is um, how se dice eh, helpful ayuda se, eh, eh, sí es ayuda realmente uh -huh. sí. Help, helpful helpful eh, helpful I'm oh, good is helpful but uh, sometimes is complicated um, seguirlo uh -huh. Plus, it, ¿cómo se dice? It's very difficult to stick on the budget, right? Stick. So it's, yes. Like, como sticker, yes. you know, stick. Pegarse al, al presupuesto, you know? Exactly. It's, it's hard to, to stick on the, on the budget. Yes, I know what you mean, right? And do you make it written or, or, or mentally? Um, uh, in note, oh, <laughs> in my phone. Nice, nice. Yeah. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations. It's very good, right? Okay, class. Thank you very much for... for Discussing this topic. Let me see what time is it. Oh, it's almost nine, right? So we're going to we're going to uh, continue with the next part. Is the introduction, right? This is the introduction of uh, unit number four. Yes, number four. Can you imagine? Oh, yeah. okay. Yes. The name of the unit is loyalty. Loyalty. Okay. Now let's read the, the, the objective for tonight. Trini, can you help me, please? I will be able to describe it for a stage. I will be able to describe different stages of a product brand awareness. Good, the pronunciation, right? Remember, awareness is that you are conscious, you know about uh, the brand of the product, right? That is the name of... Uh, uh, the meaning, sorry, of awareness, right? That you know, you know, you're conscious of the situation, right? Okay. So tonight we are going to learn about uh, these stages, right? These stages of the of the uh, of the brand awareness, right? Just give me a second. Yes, stages of brand awareness, right? Now let's start with the with the first one. It says brand recall. What is a brand recall? A brand recall is um, a consumer is able to recall the name of a brand, right? When given a product category. For example, if someone asks you about beverage. Can you name uh, a beverage? And then you say Coca-Cola, right? Um, can you name a brand of shoes? Nike. Uh, in the category of, of, for example, cars, Honda, you say Honda, right? Mm -hmm. So it's that you recall, you remember, right? that brand that a specific branding in every category right that is brand recall is one stage of brand awareness right and uh, it's part of the loyalty you have with the product right so some people are, are loyal to for example to coca-cola to uh, to mccormick yeah sorry mccormick yeah man uh, euromoda for example right Etc. Etc. So you you're loyal, and then every time they say, uh, "What product is in is in this category?" Ah, and you you immediately say that, right? Okay. Then the next one is uh, recognition. The recognition is uh, when consumers can correctly identify a particular product just with a visual cue. It's like a, como una mirada de, rab, de rabillo, right? Una mirada, eh, well, Q is eh, algo que va en la cola, algo que va en la línea, you know? But in, in this case, the context is just, okay, I, I will explain because uh, I have a line of product, right? I have like, what, 10 products and then, um, let me say, for example, what can I tell you? 
Uh, sodas, right? Let's talk about soda, right? We have uh, Fanta, Pepsi, uh, Mirinda, uh, and then you have Coca-Cola, right? So it's a number of products, right? It, this is when you go to the supermarket, for example, right? You, you see the, the, the products on the shelf and there are many brands. There are many brands of the same product, right? Let's talk about beverages. And then in this case, you immediately say, ah, this is Coca-Cola. This is my bed, right? Well, I don't like Coca-Cola. <laughs> I don't like soda, but, but I mean, the, the consumer, the, the client say, ah, this is my product, right? So you recognize, you, you, under, you identify the product in a group of, of product, right? That is recognition, right? Okay. Then top of the mind. Top of the mind is, like you say, uh, from my, from all the products, I use this, I use this, and I use, but the top is this brand, right? So, uh, and there is a category, there is a category of, of, of brands, right? I don't drink beer either, but uh, like Corona, uh, Pilsener, Regia, <laughs> And then you say, uh, Cadejo, right? I remember Cadejo. No, I don't drink, eh? I don't drink beers, but I know some brand, right? And then, uh, and then you say, in these categories, right? Or, or, or brands, you say, oh, Cadejo is the best, right? So Cadejo is the most important brand for me. Understand? So top of mind. Next one. Brand dominance brand dominance this customer can recall any brand but yours for a particular product category right uh this is when let's talk about meal right uh, leche form leche muki leche uh, uh, what is the other uh, milk australian Leche, uh, salud, salud, yes, salud. Okay, and then in this case, well, for you, only leche salud, right? And what is the name? I don't care, I don't know. No me puedo las otras marcas, no sé cómo son. No sé cómo se llama esa leche. Yes, you say like, me interesa solo la leche salud, just meal, this meal, right? So you, in your mind, there is a dominance of that brand in your mind, right? Okay? Remember, these things are not important, but at the end, when you go to the supermarket, believe me, psychologically, you are affected by these, these situations of the brands or the loyalty you have for some brand, right? Okay. Then the last one, right? Unknown brand. The unknown brand is when customers don't recognize your brand. Uh, this is negative, right? This is really negative because <laughs> they don't know what, what is your product, right? And, and there are many products in it, especially when you go to the supermarket, right? You, you don't know. And I say, ah, what was, what, this is bread, right? Este pan, no sé, que marca será? I don't know. You don't know the, the name of the brand, right? That is unknown brand. Okay, class, I know this. Um, these characteristics of, of this list of stages, right? Of brand awareness, right? Are, could be boring for you, could be difficult, could be not familiar for you, but believe me, according to the experts in marketing, these situations are really important, right? Uh, when you uh, give a brand to a product or when you're selling your product, right? It's really important. And that's the reason we are here to, to learn about how to, to sell product, right? Para aprender cómo vender los productos de su compañía. So that's the reason we are here, right? Good. So I don't know if you have any question about vocabulary. Let's go back to the, to the first one, right? Any question about this?
recognition. Teacher, what that means visual? Visual. Q. Q. Ah, Q. Um, like I explained, in Spanish is cola or linea, right? Uh, um, let's say, I like the churritos, the, uh, the churritos, you know? When you buy churritos, they are in a, in a queue. Aparecen con una cola, you know? Yes? Or in, in this context, the meaning, Walter, is that well, when you go to the supermarket, let, let's talk about uh, cookies, right? Hablemos de galletas. So we have uh, pozuelo, you have uh, uh, morsa, I don't know the name, oh. morsa products. Well, let's touch. Say, Sorry? Touch. Touch, oh, good. So you have a, a, a group, a group of, of brands of cookies, you know? And the cookies are like, uh, están como en fila. A la tenga, a a lot of them are a queue. Uh -huh. Okay, so they are in a, in a queue. They stay in una line, in una cola, you know. And and then you in the in the queue, right? When a visual queue, you say, ah, uh, this is my product. Ah, I, I, I will tell you this, uh, Walter. In in the movies of, of criminals, detective, right? Uh, they take the witness, a testigo, right? They take the witness to recognize uh, the criminal in a group of, of men or, or, or women, I don't know. And then okay, you, okay. That, that is the guy. And the guy is in a visual queue, right? There are like, I don't know, seven, seven men in the middle of the men, the, the, the criminal is, is in the middle, right? You say, ah, Este fulanito fue, este fue el que me asaltó. <laughs> so that's a, like a visual cue, right? Understand the, 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 the meaning, the context? Yes, I got it. Thank you. Okay, good, good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now, any other question? Top of mind? The teacher, the pronunciation, the the first, uh, the brown record or brown rock? Uh, the first, the first, uh, the first one. Okay. The first uh, brown record. Brown record. Brown record. Uh -huh. Okay. It's like, uh, like you say, for example, they give you a category, Domingo, of product. Let's say clothes, right? For example, right? Ropa. And then you say, ah, and de la ropa, de las marcas de ropa que me acuerdo, eh, Tommy Hal Fisher, Tommy Hal Fisher, o, o Polo, Polo, por ejemplo, de, de, de shirts, hay uno de, de un caballito, you know? Polo, uh, and then you say, you recall, right, usted le, le, le viene a la mente en esa categoría de, de, de productos a esta marca, right? Okay. For example, right? Cell phones. Uh, you say, um, ¿Qué marca le viene más a su mente cuando le dicen celulares? And then you say, ah, Samsung, right? Samsung. So that is a brand recall. Brand recall. Cuando algo viene a su mente inmediatamente, right? En una categoría de productos, this, this, this brand is the one, right? Understand, Domingo? So brand recall, right? Okay. Another example could be, for example, right? This is one example, Domingo. Uh, you have had many teachers, right? In English corporativo, right? Ha pasado <laughs> varios, con varios teachers, ¿verdad, ¿no, Domingo? Yes? And then... <laughs> ya no de acuerdo. <laughs> no se acuerda, ¿no? <laughs> Come on. Okay, but, but, but if I say, a teacher recall, teacher recall, and then you say, teacher Javier Gomez. <laughs> yeah, because I am in the moment, right? But in the future, right? Domingo, usted se acuerda de todos los profesores que estuvo en el inglés corporativo? And then, oh, teacher Javier. I don't remember. <laughs> no, come on, Domingo. Apunte los nombres ahí para que no olvide. <laughs> 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 teacher recall. 
Okay, good. Thank you, uh, Domingo. Now, any other question? Dominance, you know what is dominance? Yes, dominion, right? Unknown is no reconocido, unknown, right? No reconocido, right? And customer don't know your, your brand, right? Okay, good. My goodness, I forgot the, the, to take the attendance. So please, um, if you have any question, ask me, right? But the moment I will take the attendance. Give me a second. Um, Trini? Present. Thank you, Trini. Aminda? Present. Ana Maria? Anne Marie? Okay, yes, I have the, the message here, right? Okay, yes, thank you. Uh, Carlos William? Carlos? Qué raro que no me ha conectado Carlos, okay. Claudia Guadalupe? Claudia Guadalupe, me envíe el mensaje, Claudia. Please. Domingo. Present. Okay. Thank you, Domingo. Oh, yes, I got it. I got, I got it. Uh, Ever, uh, Ever is listener, right? Present, Mister. Good. Uh, I'm here. Uh, ah, good. Thank you, Ever. Ya, ya puede participar, right? Ever. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. Good. Jose Roberto. Jose Roberto. Present teacher. No le he hecho pregunta, ¿verdad, Jose Roberto? Sorry. No, but, but you can participate too, eh, Jose Roberto. Raise your hand, right? Levánteme yeah. la mano también para. Yes, thank you, Jose Roberto. Now, Carla Vanessa. Present. Leticia. Leticia, si me escucha, me manda el mensaje, si no estoy escuchando. Present, Ah, good. Thank you, thank you. Si puede participar, ¿verdad, Leti? Yes. Ah, oh, good, good, thank you. Mariano. Present, teacher. Good. Oscar. Ok, thank you, Oscar. Ok, good. And... Rosemary, Rosemary, present teacher. Thank you, Rosibel. Present teacher. Good. Ya puede participar, Rosibel. Yes. Oh, good. Thank you, Sonia, Ivet. Present. Vanessa, present. Noemi. Vanessa. No sé. Good, thank you. Walter? Present. Wendy? Wendy? Ya, ya le escuché, Wendy. Como que el, el internet les, se le ha bajado un poquito, ¿verdad? Pero ahí está, ahí estamos con la asistencia. Eh, eh, Chamba? Chamba. Present. Debbie. Yes, present. Good. And Jorge. Hello, Jorge. Jorge. Hi. Bueno, ya va a llegar por ahí, espero, porque ahorita estamos viendo ahí el, el techo por ahí, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Now, eh, no questions? Okay, that's it, right? Now let's go to the to the menu, right? Let's go to the menu. Oh, 
Okay, good. Unit four, right? Unit four. This is the last unit. And let's just start talking. Should a small business invest on raising brand awareness? I will explain this in Spanish, listen, because it's, it's complicated for me and I know it's complicated for you, right? And sometimes I repeat, it becomes kind of boring when you don't understand, right? Cuando algo nos, no entendemos muy bien, como que a veces nos aburre un poquito, pero vamos a tratar de interpretar. Ahí ustedes me ayudan, ¿sí? Uh, porque como les digo, yo no soy experto en negocios, ni en marketing, mucho menos. <ríe> yo solo aprendo por el manual. Y si me equivoco en algo, pues ustedes corríjanme ahí, ¿verdad? Especialmente los que están en compañías de ventas de producto, ¿ok? Ok, now, it says, should a small business invest on raising brand awareness? El brand awareness es como eh, que el cliente tenga conciencia de su, o sepa cuál es su producto, ¿verdad? Que tenga conocimiento de cómo se llama su producto, ¿sí? Y obviamente, si él sabe cómo se llama su producto, entonces también lo va a comprar porque lo reconoce, ¿no? Y um, vimos ahí unas categorías donde el producto aparece... Aparece eh, entre un grupo como, como el, el que está al tope o como el que no se conoce, etcétera, etcétera, right? Now, the question is, right? Should a small business invest on raising brand awareness? Um, ¿Debería un negocio invertir dinero, gastar dinero, you know, en hacer que las personas tengan una conciencia o conozcan su, el nombre de su producto? That, that is the, the question, right? So, I need volunteers to help me. Should a small business invest on raising brand awareness? Yes or no? Volunteers, please raise your hands and tell me. Okay, Vanessa, thank you, Vanessa. I think, teacher, it's the pen of in which a stage and the business is because if it is starting we the, the business needs and invest on raising brand so if it is a company that is establishment and a part a pay of years it's not necessary because they the company is in the market for example in my in the my job uh -huh. um, what, what, what do you work, Vanessa? Iberplastic is a mm -hmm. uh, factory of... Factory. Mm -hmm. Factory of, Plastic factory. Mm -hmm. Yes, a factory, a plastic factory. In, we, we sell cleaning articles. Mm -hmm. limpieza. I know. Products. Mm -hmm. Cleaning products, yes. So the company... The doesn't have an um, a lot of brand or promotion, I don't know. So uh, for example, but we we sell we sell products. So. Vanessa, the best the best way to create a brand awareness is using advertisement, right? Mm -hmm, yes, I guess it's the best so way. The company doesn't have doesn't have advertisement. It. But they have a, how can I say, um, eh, how can I say this in English? Let me see. Eh, tiene una, una, un mercado ganado, un mercado yes. establecido, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. In, in, the, in the case of fiber plastic, you don't need, you don't need a brand awareness, right? Because the company don't, don't have a lot of promotion, advertising. No, no, not too much. You don't need. Mm -hmm. Okay, but imagine a restaurant. You're you're making your own restaurant, Vanessa Nomi. Do you think in this case you can in, you have to invest in, in in raising the brand awareness? Yes, yeah. I think yeah. Yeah. I think the restaurant could invest in a brand awareness and okay. and in this time the, the restaurant makes like dynamicas how do you say mm -hmm. yes yes it's like uh, to, to some to techni earn more some techniques mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes. nice okay thank you You're, 
I know you you know, right? You know, uh, Vanessa. Ah, and by the way, the microphone is better now, right? Hoy sí le escuchamos perfectamente. Yes. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Ahí apreste el, el cablecito para que se... <laughs> okay. Thank you. Now, next question, right? Can you name a pair of strategies to increase a product brand awareness? We say one, right? Advertisement. And Vanessa said uh, the dynamic of, of making some offer, right? In a restaurant, for example, a uh, Por un, co, eh, paga uno y comen dos. <laughs> For example, this is in a restaurant, in a restaurant, of course, right? But do you know other strategies to make your brand comes in the mind of your of your client, right? And Walter, can you help me, Walter? Because I know you. You don't work in marketing, but you work in for McCormick, right? So maybe. Well, McCormick, yes. everybody knows McCormick, right? It's, it's not necessary, but but imagine uh, yeah. McCormick wasn't so known, right? Imaginémonos que McCormick no fuera tan conocido, right? So can you name a strategy to make McCormick better known? For, for her brand awareness, I think it's not only need advertising, uh, invest in publicity. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and on the other hand, you need to improve the quality of the product. The, I think the principal thing is differentiate, um, differentiate to another competitor. Uh, the client see that. Okay, nice. Walter, you always, your commentary goes exactly right in the problem, in the solution. I mean, okay, yes. I mean, if you want your product uh, have brand awareness, you make a good product, of course. Of course, to make a good product, right? Yes. And uh, like Walter said, you have to create some um, differentiation between your product and the other product, right? And then now you say, this product is the, for example, let's talk about tamales, right? <laughs> You're selling tamales, you know? So, uh, los, los tamalitos de Don Mariano, for example, you mentioned. So everybody knows that they are different from los tamalitos de, de Don Walter, for example, right? <laughs> so they are different and different is, is good because they say, ah, I will buy this. Mariano's tamales, right? <laughs> yes, cuando hay una diferenciación del producto, right? And, 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 and you improve the product, of course, you're going to have a brand awareness. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You see, when you give me your commentaries, the topics become very interesting, right? Now, here we have this conversation between Celia and Lucas. Lucas and Peluca, right? So Celia, well, let me let me read. It says, I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious. But when I visited their fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. Remember today, likes are really, really important when you're selling a product, right? Okay, and just give me a second. Um, tengo algunos mensajes aquí. Um, yes. Okay, good, good. Thank you. Thank you. I got your message. Ya recibí sus mensajes, solo que no puedo estar contestando los de una sola vez, pero ya. Algunos que no se habían conectado, pues ya están aquí nuevamente. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you. You're my angel. Usted es mi ángel guardián ahí que me está avisando siempre. Thank you, Vanessa. Okay, let's continue, right? Uh, so, uh, likes are really important when you're selling a product, right? And he says, I wonder why it isn't more popular. It's probably an unknown brand. Simple put, 
the owners of the brand aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness of their product, right? Like fiber plastic, for example, you heard the example, right? This is very important when launching a, no, a new product. I guess you're right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Probably is right. Well, yes, consumers are aware of these brands and their images and names. In, oops. In other words, this cinnamon soda, okay, you are talking about needs to make people recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. Okay, so we're going to we're going to practice pronunciation, but I don't know if you have any question about uh, vocabulary. No questions? Okay, good. So we're going to practice the pronunciation, right? Now, repeat us to me, please. Microphone's off. I just discovered this new brand. I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. Soda de canela. No me suena tan atractivo, but okay. Cinnamon soda. It's delicious. It's delicious. But when I visited their fan page, their fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. They only have 300 likes. I wonder, me pregunto, right? I wonder why it isn't more popular. Popular. It's probably an unknown brand. Probably. Ba, 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 ba. Probably. Unknown. Simple put, the owners of the brand, simple put, the owners of the brand aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness. Aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. This is very important when launching a new product. Important. I guess you are right. You are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi. But I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. In the cinnamon soda, of course, right? But I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes. Consumers are aware of these brands. Aware of these brands and their images and names, images, images. In other words, this cinnamon soda you're talking about, this cinnamon soda you're talking about, about, needs to make people recognize it recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive 
competitive or competitive? The two are correct, right? Good, again, second time, but this time very fast. Ready? Here we go. Repeat after me. I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious, but when I visited their fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder why it isn't more popular. It's probably, sorry, it's probably an unknown brand. Simple put, the owners of the brand aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi. But I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of these brands and their images and names. In other words, this cinnamon soda you are talking about needs to make people recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. Okay, let's practice a conversation, right? I'm gonna put like three couples to practice. So Aminda, can you help me with uh, Jose Roberto, please. Ah, Mariano. Okay, Mariano wants to participate, too, right? So Mariano, if you want after after Aminda and, and and Jose Roberto, please. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, I just deco I just discovered the new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious, but when I visited their fan page, I saw they only have three hundred likes. I wonder why it's more popular. It's probably an unknown brand. Simply put, the owners of the brand aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen it in ads for this new soda on TV. Well, yes. Consumers are aware of these brands and their images and names. In other words, this cinnamon soda you are talking about needs to make people recognize it, it to get higher sale, sales and become more competitive. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Okay, Mariano, you are Luca, right? Okay, Jesha. And then, uh, Rosibel, you're going to be Celia, right? Ready, Rosibel? Yes? Okay. One, two, three. Action. Uh, Rosibel? Oh, good. So, no. can you help me, Rosibel? Yes. Okay, good. So, you're Celia in the conversation. Okay. Uh, I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious, but when I visited, uh, sorry, but when I visited the fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder why it is, isn't more popular. It's probably an unknown brand. Simple but the owners of the brand aren't aren't trying 
to hard to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an app for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, customers are aware of this brand and their image and names. Image and names. In own word, this cinnamon soda you are talking about needs to make people organize, organize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. Nice, good pronunciation, competitive, right? And Mariano, remember when you say uh, the, the possessive there, right? There, look, there, plan. There, there. There, there, right? And when we use the word, the most of the time when we use object pronoun like it, me, them, her, his, right? So you say him, sorry. Uh, you link the sound, right? Unimos los sonidos. So we say recognize it. Recognize it. Recognize it. Yes. It's together, right? Re recognize it. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Uh, okay. I have now Debbie. Help me, Debbie, with hey, Jorge. Are you there, Jorge? Well, so Debbie and Chamba, please. Chamba, ready? Mm -hmm. Chamba? Yeah, oh, good. good. Thank you. Now you're going to be Lucas. Lucas El Pelucas, right? Ready? <laughs> One, two, three. I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It is delicious. But when I visit their fan page, I saw they only have 3,000, not 300 likes. And I wonder why it isn't more popular. It's probably and a no brand. Simply put, the owners of the brand are trying to, to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of this brand and their image and names. In other words, this is a cinnamon soda. You are talking about the need to make people recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. Excellent, also, right? Excellent, also. Thank you very much. And let me see. Um, Aware, right? Aware. It means estar consciente, estar sabedor de algo, right? Saber algo. It's aware. And awareness. Chamba, listen. Awareness. Okay? Nice. Thank you very much, Debbie and, and Chamba. So, um, I'm going to have Leti, Leticia, and let me see, Ever, right? Leticia and Ever. Are you ready, Leticia? Yes, teacher. Good. So let's practice with Ever. Ready? One, two, three. I just, I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious, but, I, but when I visit their front page, I saw they only have 300 lights. I wonder why it's not more popular. It's probably an unknown brand. Simple put, the owner of the brand aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you're right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes. Consumers are aware of these brands and their images and names. 
In other words, this cinnamon soda you are talking about needs to make people recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. Nice, thank you very much, right? Now, repeat after me, please. Uh, there, right? Okay. There. Listen, Leticia. There, right? And out there. Let me see. Um, uh, this word, popular. 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 Okay. okay, good. And what else? Ah, Pepsi. Pepsi. Right? Normally, eh, in El Salvador, we put a K, right? Le ponemos una K aquí. It's in Pepsi, right? But it's difficult to pronounce, right? Un poco difícil de pronunciarlo porque la P solita casi no la, no está en español, ¿verdad? We say Pep, Pep. Como Pep Guardiola, you know? Pep, Pep, Pepsi. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what word? Ah, images. Images. Images, right? That's it. Good. And look, simple put is like uh, poniéndole de forma simple, right? In, in other words, means in otras palabras, right? Remember, those are connectors. We call in English this connector, right? Connectors. Look. You know, and sometimes we can use conjunction like that and. Besides that, etc. Et so those are what we use to connect and to make the, the language beautiful, right? It, these words help us to make this language beautiful, right? Now, uh, what time is it? Let me see if we have time. No, 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 we don't have time. So we're going to go to, to the next exercise. Look, read the conversation again, like we say in El Salvador, otra vez, right? Read the conversation again and answer the question. Number one, why is cinnamon soda not so popular? No, why not? Why? Why? Because por qué, right? It's not so popular. What is an important step to consider when launching a new product? And what is Lucas' recommendation for the cinnamon soda to get more sales? Okay, let's think about the answers. What is the reason cinnamon soda is not so popular? Here we have the conversation, right? Why is cinnamon soda not so popular? Why? Don't have many likes. It Walter, it doesn't have? It doesn't have many likes. Many likes. <laughs> Remember, in a fan page, you need likes. If you don't have likes, right? Sorry, you're not popular, you know? Well, today uh, we use, you know, Facebook, uh, Instagram, TikTok, right? TikTok is very popular now to sell products, right? TikToks, uh-huh. And then, if if the cinnamon doesn't have too many likes, so it's not popular, right? In other words, uh, the advertising or the publicity can help a product to be a popular. No, right? And um, everybody buys the product when, when it's, no, right? And uh, if you want to say it's unknown brand, unknown brand, it's no una marca reconocida, right? Unknown brand, that's it, right? Okay, number two, what is an important step to consider when launching a new product? If you want your product become popular, and you want to sell your product, what do you need? I will make easy for you, right? 
Para aquellos chicos que casi no me participan, vamos a hacerlo más fácil. What do you need to raise? What do you need to raise? The advertising of. Uh -huh. And with the advertisement, what do you get? What, what do you get? Si usted pone un anuncio de su, de su producto, ¿qué es lo que logra en la mente de las personas? Promote, promote the brand. Promotion. I know. Promote the brand. Promotions is a, another way to... Nice. Create brand. Brand? Brand? Brand awareness. Brand awareness, right? Brand awareness. That's it, right? Usted uh, logra que la gente tenga conciencia de que su producto existe, right? So, cuando usted va a lanzar un nuevo producto, debe asegurarse que todo el mundo lo conozca. Que todo el mundo sepa de los asaditos de Don Domingo, right? It's very nice. O let's say, eh, I don't know, Choripán es el popular. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I don't have a, a, a good brand in mind, but yes, it's necessary to, it's important, right? To consider that when you're launching a new product, it's necessary you create a brand awareness. Que todo el mundo sepa cuál es la marca de su producto, right? It's reconoce. Recognize, yes. Recognize. Recognize. Uh, okay, and the last question. What is Luca's recommendation for the cinnamon soda to get more sales? What is Luca's recommendation? The presentation on TV. The presentation on TV. That could, could be a good way, yes, to make everybody know the cinnamon soda. I imagine it's funny, right? Soda canela, la mejor en el mercado salvadoreño. Prueba la nueva soda canela. <laughs> Doesn't sound good for me, sorry. But yeah, like Domingo said, to announce, to advertise your product on TV. But when you advertise your product on TV, what are you making? I will make it more easy, right? I will make it easier. The, the consumers know the names and the image of the product. Okie dokie, well. Totally right, right? So in other words, people recognize your product. People are aware of your product. Huh? They know your product. Your product is popular, right? You see? Okay. Hotelito, no sé, no, Hotel Candray, sorry. Hotel Candray, imagine. Hey, Ever, it sounds good for me. Me suena bien, Ever. A ver si se anime, ponemos el negocio ahí. <laughs> Hotel Candray, you know. So, and then, if you want Hotel Can, uh, Candray Hotel becomes popular, okay, you need to make the brand recognized by people. So people say, ah, mira, este, el lugar donde vas queda ahí a la par del Hotel Candray, you know? Ah, Hotel Candray, yes, I know. Sí, sí, ya sé. Ya conozco el hotel, es muy, es caro, pero es bueno, buenísimo, you know? So that's the reason, right? Okay. Now, to finish today's class, we're going to go to this, right? Brand awareness. Brand awareness is the ability of cons customers to identify your brand by its attributes, right? Like uh, what Omar was saying, right? To recognize the quality of your product, to recognize that there is, that your product is different from the other products, differentiation, right? So that is brand awareness. The following are some stages, stages of brand awareness, right? 
match the stages of brand awareness to their description, right? Okay, I will give you one minute, <laughs> only one minute, because we made it together, right? Ya lo habíamos hecho. So come on, we can do it now, yes? Okay, here we go, here we go. So brand recall, brand recall. What is that, brand recall? Volunteers? A customer. Uh, okay, Vanessa, Vanessa. What is brand recall, Vanessa? Vanessa, no, I mean. A consumer is able able to recall the name of a brand when given a product category okay good thank brand you recall. Mm -hmm. do you understand do you understand everybody when the customer can recall any brand no 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 sorry consumer is able to recall the name sorry of, of a brand when they say for example Sodas, Coca-Cola, eh, cookies, pozuelo, cereals, kellogs, eh, shoes, all stars, <laughs> etc., etc., right? So that is brand recall. It comes to your mind immediately. Ah, okay. So you can remember the brand. You can remember the brand. Number two, recognition. What a recognition. Okay, sorry. Uh, let me let me give you this. Okay. Um well uh, we're going to do something. Remember to raise to raise your hands, right? Y me agrada que, que varios a la misma vez eh, quieran participar, right? Because everybody knows. So we're going to start with Carla Vanessa, right? Thank you, Carla. Recognition. What is okay. recognition, Carla? Consumers can correctly identify a particular product just with a visual cue. With a visual, visual cue, right? A good pronunciation, Carla. Visual cue. That's it. That's the correct pronunciation. So like uh, you have a group or you have a line of products and in the line of products you recognize, right? In la cola, in la fila de producto, right? So you, you recognize the product, okay? Like imagine in high school, right? Remember you in high school? In all the, the your classmates, right? You recognize your true love. Okay, in the middle of everybody there, right? Ahí está fulanito, you know, está menganita, miramos. Okay, so you recognize it in, in a group, right? Thank you. Now, number three, top of mind, top of mind. Top of the top, the best of the best for you in your mind, right? In your mind, <laughs> what is the best of the best? Rosibel? The first brand customer can think of for a product category. Nice. The first, the top of the top, right? Like, for example, you say, Equipo del Salvador, and then you say, Alianza, right? Immediately, you say, Alianza, Albos, right? Lo mejor es Equipo de España. Ah, Barcelona, you say, right? Okay? Do you agree? Si hay un madridista, lo siento, pero... I'm kidding. No, Walter say no, right? <laughs> no, no. No, uh, we have to be honest. Real Madrid in this moment is in the top of the top, right? The champions. Yes. Nice. Okay. So that is top of mind. 
Number four, brand dominant. Domi no, sorry, brand dominance. Dominance is, yes, because dominance. Uh huh, please, brand dominance. Raise your hands. Yes. Come on. Allow, allow. Un poquito más fuerte. Come on. Brand dominance. Customer can record. Uh huh. Any brand, but you're for a particular product category. Excellent. Right. In other words, Okay, there is a difference between uh, uh, recognition, right? Because uh, in a recognition, you can say, okay, this is Pepsi, this is uh, Cola Champagne, this is Pepsi Cola, this is uh, Orange Crush, this is, you know the name, right? Usted ya se puede el nombre de todos los productos, ya se lo puede, como se llama. But in this line, right, in esa línea de productos, a fila de productos, Usted dice, ah, reconozco mi producto favorito, yes? But when you say brand dominance, right? No le importa nada. It's when you're in love, right? Cuando usted está enamorado, no mira nada más, ¿ok? Aunque su mamá lo regañe, no, no te conviene, you know? So you say that, right? ¿Y cómo se llaman las otras? No me importa cómo se llaman las otras. Yo solo quiero saber ella, right? Only a las otras ni las conozco. So the same happened with this. You don't know the names of the other products and you don't care because the only product you love is what? Coca-Cola, you know? <laughs> you don't care other brands, only Coca-Cola, right? So in your mind, there is a dominance of the, of the brand, right? In your mind. Good, and finally, the easiest, right? Unknown brand. Volunteers? Come on, guys. It's the last. We finished with this. Oh, no, brand. What is that? Don't recognize your brand. Don't recognize your brand. It says people don't know you, right? Lo dejan en visto nada más usted. You know, it's, <laughs> it's a product. Sorry, right? Okay, nice. Class. Yeah, I don't know your camera. Again. My camera thing. But I don't know why, why, why not. ¿Por qué me pasa esto? I don't know, right? Sorry, sorry, guys. Excuse me for this situation, but I will investigate. Anybody knows? ¿Alguien sabe por qué se paga la cámara? ¿Alguien experto ahí? Carla Vanessa? You know, right? Usted buena con la tecnología, Carlita. ¿Por qué se me paga la cámara? Mucho hablo, quizá, ¿verdad? <laughs> No, Carla. Solo es que tiene temporalizado el, el zoom. El video. Ah, hay un temporizador. Como el zoom que... tendría que ver la, 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 la configuración de cámara. Configura. Ajá, ok. Quiere decir que el video? La cámara solo dura quizás unos 15 minutos, algo así, ¿verdad? Ajá. Si no, domingo, si no hay man. movimiento de la cámara, se, se frisa ahí. Y... Domingo. Sir, yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Nice, Domingo. Very good. A Carlita solo le dio risa, que so, yo solo hablo, y mucho hablo, por eso me apaga la cámara. Pero no, ahí, vamos a averiguar el temporizador de la cámara. Yes. Good. Thank you, class. Now we'll take the attendance. Ok. Eh, Trini. Present. Ok, thank you, Trini. Have a good night. God bless you. Aminda. Present. Goodbye, Aminda. Bye, teacher. And Marie. Uh, in English, Ana Maria. So, sounds good, right? Ana Maria. Ana Maria? No. Okay. Es Carlos Willis. Ah, yes, teacher. yes, Ana Maria. Le gusta como son en inglés su nombre, Ana Maria. And Marie. Eh? Okay. Carlos William. Present. Good, thank you. Perdón que casi no le di participación, pero no sabía si ya estaba activo, Carlos. Sorry, en la próxima. Yes. No problem, teacher. Tomorrow, tomorrow, Carlos, tomorrow. Claudia Guadalupe. 
Okay, good. It says present. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Domingo? Present. Have a good night, Domingo. Ever? Have a good night. Thank you. Present, teacher. Thank you, Ever. Bye bye. Night. See you tomorrow. Jose Roberto? Present, teacher. Thank you. Thank you very much. Night. Carla Vanessa? Present. Good. Thank you. Leticia Guadalupe? Leticia? Okay, Mariano. Mariano? Present teacher. Good. Me espera, Mariano. Okay, teacher. I have a surprise for you. Le tengo una sorpresa por ahí. Yes. <laughs> una sorpresa okay. gramatical. Okay, Oscar Arnulfo. Oscar? I'm uh, here. Good, thank you. Uh, eh, también no le di mucha participación, ¿verdad, Oscar? Pero. Para que no vaya a chocar. <laughs> no problem, teacher. I have two no, minutes to arrive to my house. Okay, I understand. I understand the situation. Don't worry. So tomorrow, tomorrow we're going yes, to no participate. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Rosemary? Present, teacher. Thank you. Have a good night, Rosemary. Sonia y Beth? Present. Thank you. Bye-bye. And uh, have a good night for Rodrigo, too. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, Rosibel? Good night. Thank you. Vanessa? Present. Good night, Thank teacher. You. Have a good night, Vanessa. Walter? Here, good night, teacher. Thank you. God bless you. Wendy? Present. Good, Wendy. Hoy le falló un poquito el internet, pero sí la tuvimos con nosotros, es lo importante. Chamba. Present, mister. Yes. Thank you, thank you very much. Debbie. Present. Thank you, Debbie Yasmin. Have a good night. God bless you. Thank you, have a good night. Yes. Okay, you too, you too as well. Jorge Alfredo. Present. Thank you, Jorge, have a good night. Good night, teacher. God bless you. God bless you. Okay. Uh, Mariano? That's the show. Good. Uh, uh, do you want to review the present perfect, Mariano? And I will make some questions to you about the present perfect. Interesting okay, questions. Yes. And then you're going to say, yes, I have, or no, I haven't, right? Understood? Okay, yes, I have. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> let, me wait <laughs> let me look for the, for the, for the file, for the file, right? Vamos a buscar el archivo, regálame un segundito ahí. In the meantime, uh, Mariano, I don't know if you have any question, extra question? Not to share a no, specific no, question, no. Everything okay. Nice. Everything okay. Nice, I like. I like when people are smart like you. No, teacher, you are very clean to, to teach. <laughs> ah, okay. No, yeah. no, but, but listen, Mariano, in my opinion, the students make the teacher, right? The students make the teacher, in my personal opinion, of course, right? And you are... So, so. <laughs> the, the students in this class are really smart, including you, you're really smart. Because these topics are... Difficult, yeah. I have to investigate. Man. Branding. Estar investigando. <laughs> a branding can. Branding, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, and I said, what is branding? It's me sonaba mía branding. Yes. Yeah. In, in in general, the the topic is very. <laughs> it's for business. It's it's not interesting for for me. I know, yes, yes. It's because it's exclusive for business, business, right? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Someone that is interested in business would find this topic interesting. But for us, and it's like a... I, I, I'm in the business area, but I work in the business area, but I am an engineer. I, <laughs> uh -huh, I know it's different for you. Yes. Because I guess I, this is marketing. 
marketing, yes. right? Marketing. Yes. Sorry, Mariano, no, no le encuentro el archivo. Give me a second. Ah, here, here. Ya lo encontré. Yes. Ok. Now, uh, vamos a hacerlo un poquito más grande. Oops. Uh, here, right? Excellent. Ya lo tengo, Mariano. Ahorita se lo comparto. Yes. Great teacher. Ok. And pay attention, Mariano. This is a review for the present perfect, right? Remember, in present perfect, we always we always use the, the, the auxiliary, have or has. And uh, we have two categories of verb, right? And past participle, Mariano, is what we know in Spanish, ado ido. Yo he corrido, yo he viajado, yo he corrido, yo he estudiado, etc. Ado ido, right? That's the past participle. Also, yeah. you know, the past participle is used as, as adjectives. Los, los, los pasados participios se pueden usar como, como adjetivos, right? Como adjetivos. For example, you say the broken wings, las alas rotas. Broken, broken is, broken. Uh, is the past participle for break. Break, break. broke, Bro. broken. Uh, so broken mm -hmm. is an adjective. También se usan como adjetivo, ¿verdad? Pero más yes. que los pasados participios se usan en los in los tiempos perfectos. Present perfect, right? Okay, teacher. Good, in this context. Let's go. And then, where have you traveled? Teacher. Yes? Yeah, the, the screen done. You don't see it. Charge. No, no se lo he compartido, Mariano. No. No, no, no. Oops. Pero... Sale como reloading ahí. Y ahora, Mariano? Tampoco sale el reloading. Mm, strange. Permítame, vamos a mover aquí la pantalla. Hacerlo más pequeño. Por ahí. Oh. Yes. Qué raro. Permítame, voy a cerrar todo. Realmente unos segunditos. Voy a cerrar todo. Ok, Jesús. Ah, sí, ya lo vi. Sí, está. <coughs> Como que una, una página me quedó en el aire ahí. Ah, por eso no lo mandaba. Sí, ahorita, permítame. Es que abro muchas páginas, por eso es que... Ok, vamos a cerrar hasta el... Hasta el manual lo vamos a cerrar acá por cualquier cosa. Ok. Now, ahora sí. Ahora, Mariano? No, teacher. No. Fíjense no. que yo alcancé a ver ahí la pantalla ahorita. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. Esa misma pantalla que acabo de ver aquí. Qué raro. Quizás el, el, el Zoom está fallándome. Vamos a ver. Um, Se aguarda. Um, déjeme ver. Qué raro. Claro, nunca me había pasado. Y aquí está el manual, ve. Lo tengo activo el manual. Yo... Usted se le ve. Usted lo puede ver. Sí, yo sí veo el manual, pero ya ahorita ya lo cerré. Vaya, ahorita ya cerré todito. Solo me queda el, el archivo de Word que quiero compartirle. Ah. Pero es que como que no se termina de enviar. Lo, ah, ahorita sí. 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 Bueno, ya me había asustado. <ríe> ya se me arruinó. De... Ok. Now, question number one. Where, Where have you traveled? Have you... Where have you traveled? It's question for me? Yes, of course. Where have you traveled? Yes, teacher, I traveled. No, no, wait. Where? Where? So you say, yes, I, have. I have traveled. Yes, I have. I have trouble. Yes, I have. Or I have trouble. I have trouble. To. Ah, to. To. Uh, Panama. Okay, good. Where is the best place you have ever been? The, the best place 
I have ever been. I have ever been is yeah. I don't know Antigua, Guatemala. Oh, <laughs> good, nice. Have you ever been in a fist fight? Fist fight? A kick, a kick him, a boxing. <laughs> yes, have you ever been? I, I, yes, I have, have or no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Have no, you I ever have. been? No, you haven't. Have you ever been on TV? Yes, I have. Okay, nice. So you're famous, Mariano. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever broken a bone? Never. I, I, I have. No, I have. Have you ever no. broken up with someone? No, I have this. Okay, good. Have you ever called your girlfriend the wrong name? No, I have. No, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Lucky you. Si no, le van a dar un cacerolazo. Si <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see. Have you ever cheated on an exam? On, on, uh, sorry, on an exam? Cheating is mm -hmm. co copiar, right? Copy. Uh -huh. Yes, I have. Have you ever cried in public? In public? <laughs> in public? Yeah, I don't remember, but yes, I have. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, have you ever dated someone you didn't like? No. Have, al revés, creo. Have you ever dated someone who didn't, uh -huh, yes, who didn't like you? No. Usted no, no, no. No, I haven't. Okay. And the last two questions says, have you ever done something silly, something stupid, right, that you wish you had not done? Have you ever done something? Some, no, I haven't. No, you haven't, right? Have you ever driven a truck? Yes, I have. Oh, interesting. Yes. Yes. Have you I ever ridden a motorcycle? No, I have. No, you haven't. Have you ever driven a microbus, a minivan? Mm, uh, a student microbus, yes. Uh -huh. But a minivan, no. No, minivan is microbus. Oh, yeah. Uh, a minivan, is, a van is, yeah, it's. I, I drive a minivan, a minivan, minivan. Uh, uh -huh. I don't okay. remember the, the, the brand of. Uh... Yes. Minivan is Toyota, no? Toyota, uh -huh. Toyota. I don't remember. Yes, Toyota. Minivan, right? Okay, that's it, right? And we have a lot of interesting questions here, right? This is, hey, listen, this is in Aguachapan, eh? Have you ever Even eaten frog, frog legs? legs? I never eat the frog. I, I have never. I, I have, have never eaten a, eat a frog legs. Eaten, eaten. Okay. Um, and you? No, no, I haven't. Yes, I, I have. I have eaten uh, petty way. Yes, but I, I never eat enough frog legs. But I think I eat when I. Have I, eaten. I have eaten. I have yes. eaten. I have eaten. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Good. And the last question. Yes, the last question. Have you ever gone to greet, saludar, right? Have you ever gone to greet a friend and then notice it was someone else? It was another person? Oh, yes. It's very <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> me too. Like yes, three I have. times, you know? <laughs> like, hey, Pedro, what's up with it? Oh, oh sir, excuse me. Yeah, sure. Yeah. But the, the, the Salvadorian, it's more, it's, it's very expressive and, uh -huh. and say a wrong phrase. Uh -huh. I don't know. Hey, Cero, ¿cómo estás? Ajá, y, y le voltea. <laughs> y con el oh, oh, hit the person. 
Eh, Mariano, o hit the person on the back, right? Yes. ¿Qué onda, boca? Disculpe, señor. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a very embarrassing. Yeah, and it's very common. Yeah, it's very common. Yeah, it's common. Okay, Mariano, thank you very much. Thank you very much. You thank know, you, okay. teacher. I know that it takes extra time for you, right? And and thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know if you have thank any you, question. No, teacher. No. Everything okay. Good. See thank you, you very much. Right? God bless you. God bless you. <laughs>